In today's video, we're going to take a closer, more realistic view of what goes on during an iPhone back glass repair. Now, this happens to be an iPhone 10, but this is the same process for all the iPhones. As you can see, the front screen is cracked, the back glass is cracked, and also the camera lens is cracked. Well, we're just focusing on the back cover today. So the first thing that we do is we grab the iPhone and we run it through this software that I have downloaded on my laptop. Now each iPhone has its own template. So if you have an iPhone 10s, you choose an iPhone 10s. If you have an iPhone 10R, then you choose an iPhone 10R. But we're dealing with the iPhone X right here. Now in this process, you can make your necessary adjustments. The laser can be off a little bit at times. For example, if the laser is off a little bit that's surrounding the camera, you can adjust it to however you want it to shoot at. And the way you can adjust that is just by on your laptop hitting the up, down, left or right button and that'll move the laser back and forth. This whole process takes roughly about a minute or so. And then after we do our necessary adjustments, we can go ahead and run our laser. Now as we start up the laser, you can see that the laser is shooting right through the glass and hitting that adhesive that's underneath the glass. And at the same time, it's kind of lasering away the color or the paint. As you see, it goes right there through the, right through the Apple logo. And then you can see the glue right under the glass. Now I run this process, I run it twice. I know some of you have probably seen, you know, more videos and they'll run it once and then that's it and the glass comes off and then they and then the repair is done, you know, but this video is going to show you uh, mostly everything. So I think I'm already on my second one right here. I make sure that the adhesive is I don't know how to say it. It's really like zapped, I guess. So then that way for me, it makes it, it makes the glass to come off easier. So you're not like doing a tug and war with the glass to, to, to get it to force off, right? So now it's going around the camera and I think this process is almost done. Now the next step in this process is getting off all of the glass on this back of this iPhone. And I'm gonna show you guys this all unedited. So it's gonna take a few minutes. So basically what I do is I get a heat gun and I blow right there, right in the middle and kind of on the bottom, um, right over the wireless charging uh, cable. The reason why I do that is because there's adhesive that's still under there that the laser does not shoot at. And then I'll grab a tool and I'll get, I'll find a spot where I can get this tool under and then we'll start taking the glass off. And as you see, one piece of glass already fell off. There's another piece right there. So as you guys have heard, it's all about the tools, right? So when I say it's all about the tools, what really helpful with this back glass is that tool that you see in my hand right there. That thin metal flexi, I don't even know what it's called, but I buy those, you can buy those on eBay. It helps me get right underneath the glass. So I'm thinking like, what do I have to do right to get the glass off? because each phone is different than the next, right? Because they're all cracked differently. So what I'm doing is I know I got to break it somewhere. So what I'm doing, since I have more experience at this, I'm controlling the breaks. 
So as I'll pull up on my left hand with my thumb, I'll pull up and then I'll make my break. You see, before, if you guys wanna stop this and rewind it, none of this was cracked up there. So I'm grabbing that tool and you see up here, I'm, I wanna blow more heat up here. So you see there's no cracks up there. And then, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out how I can break this. But I don't want this thing to shatter where the glass gets shattered underneath the camera. Because if you do that, you see how I'm controlling the brakes? If you do that, you're gonna take a long time picking and getting out the glass, the shattered glass underneath the camera. So you're gonna want to avoid to do that. So the, I guess the way how you get better at that is you just have to have experience. I, it took me about 10 different tries uh, to start figuring this stuff out. You see right here, I'm pushing down on my left thumb and I control the brake right here, you see? And then I'm gonna get whatever uh, glass that's out with this kind of tweezer right there so the glass isn't shattered underneath the camera. And then I should grab that flimsy tool again and get right under underneath the glass that's up in that top left corner to, to loosen the glass up or out. As you see, I'm pushing it all the way as far as I can underneath there. And then that piece of glass should become, it should become fully loose. And then you should be able to push it out. Watch, it should come out right here. Just like that, you see that? Now, I know how to do this because I have experience. And now you don't have to mess around with uh, picking out and spending 10 or 15 minutes trying to pick out tiny shattered glass out like that. I got it all out within like, what, two minutes or so? So now that we got all of the glass off of the back of the phone, you're left with all this black powder and glue. You're going to have the urge to just blow the dust off the back. Do not do that. What will end up happening is you'll end up blowing dust into the camera. So instead of you blowing the dust off, what you're going to want to do is get this fume extractor right here. And then you're going to run, want to run the laser uh, again to uh, break down the glue that's left all over the back of the phone. You're gonna let that fume extractor extract all that black powder uh, off the back of the phone. So you're gonna want to run the laser. I roughly, on average, it's you're gonna do it about like four times. So as you see, I'm, as I'm speeding this up, the laser is basically it's shaving down the glue that's left over. And as you see the black powder, it's all going away. It's being sucked up by that fume extractor that we have there. And then the laser is passing through the back again and it's breaking down that glue that you see there. And then it'll start to change color as we watch it right here. I think this is the second pass that it's already gone through it now. And then as you see, now it's turning white because it's, it's still breaking down the glue that's there. And it'll pass through again. And basically what I do is I'll, usually it's about on the fourth time, the glue will end up kind of bubbling up a little bit. And then that's, that's when you know when, when this whole process is done. Cause it'll start that white glue right there will start peeling up. And it's just about almost finished.
So now, so now that it's done, you see how the glue just peels up? And then you can just peel off all the remainder of the glue that we have here. So this is the back glass right here. And this is what they call the big hole glass. And as you see, I'm getting peeling back this tape right here. The, the glass camera lens is cracked. Remember how I was telling you guys earlier, I'm going to fix that. And the front screen is also cracked, but I'm just, this video is just about just doing only the back glass. But as you see the big hole camera lens, it goes right over. You don't have to cut the metal around the camera lens. It just, it goes right, fits right over this. I recommend getting it this way. Now this back glass that I get, you see how it has that adhesive already attached to the back of it. We're still gonna use glue to put the back cover on, but that adhesive, it helps fix it down. So now pretty much, all we do is just scrape the rest, scrape and peel the rest, the rest, the remaining glue off of the back of the phone. I use a, a flat head screwdriver to get it all off. We get it all off around the inside of the edges and it goes all the way around because we want to make the back glass fit flush into the phone as much as possible so that you so that the average person cannot even tell that it's fixed so then after you got all the glue um scraped off and we're gonna start cleaning up there any remaining black powder that's left there and i i use this alcohol 91 percent alcohol and just wipe the remaining back of the phone off, all the metal part and anywhere that you see. And then I'll start spreading the glue around. Remember there's exposed like little microchips there. Do not put glue, pay attention where you're putting the glue pretty much. And then you can put the, the back cover on after you have the glue. And then you just get these little clamps and you clamp everything down. All right, so on the back of this, if you read it right here, little tiny uh, words right here, T8000 crystal diamond adhesive can suit for many materials, toy flowers, jewelry, metal, glass, ceramic, stone, bamboo, wood, all this stuff right here. And that, everybody, is a realistic view on the iPhone back glass replacement. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.